I changed all the car settings to equal in F1 Manager 2022 and this is what happened. We had 9 different race winners and 13 drivers on the podium. I will be going over the standings and tell you how much points, podiums and wins each driver got and all of the driver transfers. I'm the team principal of Williams but won't sign a high rated driver since I don't want to win a championship so for this season I will keep Alex Albon and Nicholas Latifi. But without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So in P20 we have Zhao Guan Yu, he scored 2 points in the Alfa Romeo and will be staying at the team for next season. Moving on to P19, we have Lance Stroll. He scored 4 points and is staying at Aston Martin. Mick Schumacher finished in P18. He scored 10 points and will be joining Lance Stroll at Aston Martin for next season. I do like this transfer since before we knew Alonso would join Aston Martin, there was a lot of rumours about Mick Schumacher joining them. But going on to P17, we have Nicholas Latifi. He also scored 10 points, but he did lose his seat in F1 and will be replaced by Logan Sargent for next season. Going to P16, we have Sebastian Vettel. He scored 12 points in the Aston Martin, but he is leaving the team to join Alpha Tauri for next season. I don't know if the Aston Martin strategy team is bad or what, but they are far behind any other team. In P15, we have Yuki Tsunoda. He scored 27 points, a podium and a win, and he's being replaced by Vettel, but luckily for him, he got a seat at Haas. Esteban Ocon is the next driver on this list. He finished in P14 and scored 45 points and will be staying at the French team for next season. In P13, with 55 points, we have Kevin Magnussen. He's staying at Haas for next season and isn't planning on leaving the team anytime soon. In P12, we have the other Williams driver, Alex Albon. He scored 60 points, 2 podiums and a win. Just showing me if I sign the best driver, it would be too easy. He will be staying at Williams. Daniel Ricciardo finished in P11. He scored 71 points and a podium in the McLaren and he will be staying at McLaren for next season. Now going to the top 10. In 10th place with 107 points and 3 podiums, we have Valtteri Bottas. He had a good season and will be staying at Alfa Romeo. In P9, we have Fernando Norris. He scored 108 points and a podium and he's staying at McLaren. Pierre Gasly finished in P8. He scored 127 points, 2 podiums and a win and he's staying at Alfa Tauri. But there is a lot of rumors that he will be joining Alpine for the 2024 season. I'm so close to 1000 subscribers, so if you like this video, you might as well subscribe. It will only take a second and you can always unsubscribe later but going to p7 we have george russell i feel the game is underrating him since he only got 138 points and four podiums but he is staying at mercedes for next season fernando alonso finished in p6 he scored 179 points four podiums and a win and he's staying at alpine for next season sergio perez finished in p5 he scored 189 points seven podiums and a win and will be staying at red bull for next season in fourth place we have carlos Sainz. he scored 197 points six podiums and a win and he's staying at ferrari for next season. This means the top three was Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. These three drivers got 16 victories and was in a league of their own. For the first part of the season, Max Verstappen was dominating, but after having a lot of bad luck and engine penalties, he finished in P3. The engine penalties affect the drivers a lot since overtaking is very difficult when all of the cars are the same. Verstappen got 248 points, 9 podiums and 5 wins and he will be staying at Red Bull for next season. And he might win the championship if he has some better luck. But going to the top two, Leclerc and Hamilton. They were separated by 22 points and this might be a big shock to a lot of you. But for Ferrari's strategy calls was actually good. So in second place with 311 points, 14 podiums and 5 wins, we have Lewis Hamilton. And the 2022 Formula 1 world champion is Charles Leclerc. He got 333 points, 12 podiums and 6 wins. This is the constructor standing. Thanks for liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next video.